Without any exaggeration or sarcasm, this may be the biggest day for EUC announcements ever in history. Yes, it's an EUC bonanza and I have 10 announcements to make. There's so many wheels to announce that I can't memorize them all. So I'm just gonna have to read them off. <clears throat> we have the Leaperkin Veteran Lynx, the Extreme Bowl Commander GT Pro, the Kingsong S22 Pro 50S, the S19 Pro, the S18 Pro, the S16 Pro, are we sensing a theme here? The Bigode T4 Pro, the M10 Mini, the One Wheel GTS series, that's an outlier, and the Master Pro successor. Without any further ado, let's break them all down. Let's talk about the winners and the big losers. This is Wheel Good Time. Let's get started. Let's get started with talking about the biggest loser of them all, the One Wheel GTS series. Now I realize this is not an EUC and this is primarily an electric unicycle channel, but we need to discuss this because it's new, it's extremely popular, and you need to know how bad this thing really is. Now I know I'm gonna be getting a lot of flack and a lot of angry comments from One Wheel owners, but I'm gonna to try to be as objective as possible here. The GTS series is an upgrade from the One Wheel GT, with a top speed of 25 miles per hour. It also has a top range of about 25 miles. Best of all, it has a 113 volt system, which is quite a bit higher than any of the previous one wheels. It has a few other minor upgrades as well, but the most important thing to keep in mind is the voltage is dramatically increased, which significantly increases its torque for acceleration and braking. There are two major issues that remain for this unit. Number one is the price tag. It starts at 3,200 US dollars. That is absolutely unreal. When I bought my very first one wheel, which was an XR, it cost $1,800. Now we are $1,400 more expensive for honestly, not that much more power. Yes, it has way more volts, but it really is not that significant of an upgrade considering. The One Wheel XR, while it's a still older and more antiquated system, it's still quite capable compared to the S series. Yet, $1,400 difference, that's unreal. You can get so much more value with an electric unicycle. For $3,200, you could get a brand new Bigode Master Pro that goes 55 plus miles per hour. You could get an EX30 with so much torque and so much more safety features that are on top of that. Now that it's been on the market for long enough, you could even get an InMotion V13 for less than $3,200. It is unreal how much Future Motion is wanting to charge for this particular one wheel. This is straight up price gouging. The other major issue with this one wheel GTS series is inherent to the fact that it's still a one wheel. One wheels have to have two points of contact no more, no less with the board. If you happen to go over a pothole or an unexpected bump and your foot happens to slip, you are likely going to fall. If not, you're gonna be having a bad day regardless because your feet have to stay in that same spot. Compare that to an electric unicycle, which is dramatically safer because you have more points of contact with your machine. And therefore, if you go over some unexpected bumps, you're not gonna be necessarily thrown off of your wheel. The only way to mitigate this is to use something called flight fins, which is a third party accessory that Future Motion doesn't even sell. And that helps you lock your foot in whenever you're going over things that are unexpected. In EUC these days for $3,200, every single one has a suspension. And that makes an EUC always better to purchase than a one wheel, but I digress. The next big loser is the smorgasbord of new EUCs that are being announced by Kingsong. We have the S22 Pro 50S, which as you know, has 50S batteries. Then we also have the S19 Pro, which has the exact same specs with 50S batteries. And we have the S16 Pro, which guess what it has? 50S batteries with just a pinch better specs, but it's essentially the same thing. And of course we have the antiquated S18, which has Molosel batteries, exact same specs otherwise. 
Basically, King Song is playing the Me Too game in announcing all these new wheels, but it's really the exact same thing, and really there's almost nothing different other than 50S batteries. All in all, a huge disappointment from King Song, but I shouldn't be too surprised because King Song has been releasing nothing but disappointment after disappointment after disappointment for the last few years now. When will King Song ever announce an EUC that is friendly to enthusiasts? When are we going to have something that is high performance? The closest thing they've had in a really long time is the S22 Pro. And frankly, it's really not that impressive. It's better than the S22, and that is their best wheel, but we're still waiting for years for them to announce something that's truly powerful and able to compete with all the other EUCs and the 2023 market. Now we have the two big winners, the highlights of this show the Leaperkin Veteran Lynx, and the Extreme Bull Commander GT Pro. Let's talk about the Lynx first. A couple of photos got released onto the internet a day or two ago that I'm about to shove right in front of your face right now. This is the Leaperkin Veteran Lynx. It's a 20-inch EUC with a 151.2 volt system. This makes it the highest voltage system EUC currently announced. It'll have a 160 kilometers an hour free spin speed, or 125 kilometers an hour free spin speed. It's unclear which one for now. 125 kilometers an hour may be in regular mode, and the 160 may be for high speed mode with field weakening enabled. This EUC will weigh 88 pounds, have 50 E batteries, we'll talk more about that in a minute, a smart BMS, and the same fantastic fork style suspension that Leaper Kim is famous for. In a word, this thing looks incredible, incredibly powerful, incredibly strong, and tough as nails. I'm excited to try this one out. I do have a couple reservations though. The motor is rated at 3200 watts with a peak power of 8000 watts. That's barely more powerful than the Patton, and honestly, the Master Pro and the V13 already surpassed this by a long shot. We have EUCs that are a year old that are already outperforming this just announced EUC. What are they thinking? Speaking of what are they thinking, 50E batteries. Don't get me wrong, 50E batteries are very common and they're not that bad, but for a 151 volt system, you need to have batteries that are capable of far higher current. The rest of the EUC market is going toward 50S batteries because it puts out two and a half times more current than the 50E batteries. You don't have to have nearly as many batteries in parallel in order to get the same amount of performance. So you're really able to jack up the voltage. They have a motor that is barely more powerful than the Patton, and they have batteries that are just not that strong compared to their competitors. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Also, again, this wheel is not waterproof. They make no waterproof claims. EUCs should be waterproof in 2023 and 2024. It's just how it should be. There is no reason for an EUC to not be waterproof now that we have advanced this far in EUC technology. So big thumbs down in both of those regards. Hopefully when they launch this wheel officially, it'll have 50S batteries or something similar. It is unacceptable that they would be launching this 151 volt EUC with the battery type that they are. Not to be outdone, Extreme Bull pushed out their own teaser for their competitor to the Lynx. This one is called the Commander GT Pro, and they've been extremely coy on the details on this. We don't know very much. All we know is that this is gonna be a direct competitor to the Lynx, and in typical Begode slash Extreme Bull fashion, they're going to be trying to one-up them in every possible category, including voltage. What we do know is that it has a 3,000 watt-hour battery. If you haven't noticed already, Bigode and Extreme Bull make it pretty common practice that when one of their competitors announces one wheel, within about 24 hours to a week later, they make their own announcement announcing something that they believe is going to be a better version of whatever the other guy has. It most likely is going to have the 168 volt system that we've previously discussed in other videos 
And on top of that, of course, it's going to have that fork style suspension. The photo that they've released looks like it's more in a conceptual phase still, but they had to get something out to steal Leaper Kim's thunder. So it looks like it's just a 3D rendering for now, and it's just the back top corner with the tail light and handle. Not a whole lot to go on, but it looks like this wheel is still not obviously ready for prime time or a full announcement. All that they have to say is, we're going to be releasing something that's kind of like the Lynx, but better. Now we have two brand new wheels that Bigode has announced, the T4 Pro and the M10 Mini. The T4 Pro is basically an evolutionary upgrade to the original T4. We don't have a whole lot of details about the T4 Pro. All we have is a few pictures and some guesses from what we've heard from other people in the community. What we do know about it is that it has a different motor and a different paint job. The rim appears to be just a little bit wider and it looks like it's a C40 motor that's high torque, but if you zoom way into this picture, it says it's a C32 motor. If my suspicions are correct, this wheel is gonna have a very high free spin speed and roughly the same amount of torque as the original T4 with a 134 volt system. It looks like it's gonna be a cheaper version of the Extreme, if you will being that they have the same size wheel diameter. It's hard to say because all we have is a few photos and little sparse details, but overall the T4 is a great EUC and it's already proven itself as a fantastic wheel. So this looks like it's just a slight upgrade above that. Next we have the M10 Mini. This one is a cute little toy and they're describing it as the perfect stocking stuffer. Last I checked, stocking stuffers are one, supposed to be able to fit inside a stocking and number two, be a little bit on the less expensive side. So kind of weird, but okay. This wheel looks like it's gonna be roughly around the 400-ish dollar range, but I can't be completely sure. The M10 Mini is Bigode's response to the Kingsong S9 basketball wheel. The difference is the Bigode M10 Mini is an actual EUC. The S9 is a basketball. Let me explain, because I know that this has a little bit of an inflammatory statement. The way I see it, the M10 Mini is superior to the S9 in so many ways. Yes, the S9 has slightly higher voltage compared to the M10 Mini, but the M10 Mini has an actual tire. Both are made for kids, but the S9 doesn't even have a tire. It just has a skin that you put over the top. So there's really no impact protection whatsoever if you happen to be going over any random bumps. Also, the M10 Mini has actual headlights and actual taillights. The S9 does not. Granted, again, these are both toys and they're both made for little kids. The M10 Mini has a free spin speed of only 30 kilometers an hour and is only a 42 volt system. It's not high power. The M10 Mini looks like a fun little wheel to get around the parking lot, the mall, the hospital, if you will. It's not something that is ever intended to be something super powerful. So keep that in mind when we're discussing this wheel. Lastly, we have the Master Pro successor. We know nothing about this wheel other than a photo of the rim. And what a photo it is. It looks like this wheel is going to have twice the amount of spokes as the original Master Pro, which was criticized for having a weak seeming rim. Just the rim on the Master Pro was not strong enough, didn't have enough support. So what Bigo did is that they flipped the direction of the spokes and then doubled the amount to really beef it up. I don't even have the name of this wheel. I don't know, but I suspect that this wheel is likely going to be a 168 volt system, just like the other EUCs that are probably on their way from Bigode. Rest assured that when more details about any of these wheels come out, I will be talking about it, so make sure you're subscribed. If you happen to be in the market for a new EUC, check out the description for this video where you can get lots of discount codes and affiliate links which directly help out the channel. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.